So we're continuing with morning prayer from the Earth Gospel by Sam Hamilton Poor, a very good book. Uh, please consider getting yourself a copy if you don't have one. Today we're doing uh, uh, the morning prayer for Wednesday of week two, uh, which starts on page 71 of the book. Take a moment to be quiet and then I will open us uh, with an opening from Psalm 24. The world and everything in it belongs to the Holy One. So too the fertile world and all who live there. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, God made their glowing colors and made their tiny wings. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The purple-headed mountains, the river running by, the sunset and the morning that brightens up the sky. Bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, God made them everyone. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. God gave us eyes to see them. And lives that we might tell How great is God Almighty Who has made all things well The scripture reading is taken from Proverbs 30, verses 18 to 19, 24 to 28. There are four things that are too mysterious for me to understand. An eagle flying in the sky, a snake moving on a rock, a ship finding its way over the sea, and a man and a woman falling in love. There are four animals in the world that are small, but very, very clever. Ants, they're weak, but they store up their food in the summer. Rock badgers, they're not strong either, but they make their homes among the rocks. Locusts, they have no king, but they move in formation. Lizards, you can hold one in your hand, but you can find them in palaces. For other voices today, first from Christina Rossetti. The tiniest living thing that soars on feathered wing or crawls among the long grass out of sight, has just as good a right to its appointed portion of delight as any king. And from Thomas Akempis, if your heart be right, then every created thing will become for you a mirror of life and a book of holy teaching. For there is nothing created so small and mean that it does not reflect the goodness of God. We'll take a couple of minutes of silence to reflect on these readings.
And as we move into prayer, we remember again the people of Ukraine and the people of Russia and pray for peace there and uh, everywhere where there's fighting today. And for all those afflicted by illness or adversity of any kind everywhere, and for those who care for them, that they might be blessed this day. The prayer today is by Gail A. Ricciuti. For all things bright and beautiful, for all things dark and mysterious and lovely, for all things green and growing and strong, for all things weak and struggling to push life up through rocky earth, for all human faces, hearts, minds, and hands which surround us, and for all non-human minds and hearts, paws and claws, fins and wings. For this life and the life of this world, for all that you have laid before us, O oh God, we lay our thankful hearts before you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. And a blessing today with apologies to Cole Porter. Ants do it, bees do it, even earthworms in the ground do it. May you also do it. Be the you in joyful fullness in whom God delights. Amen.